Now here in this video we're going to talk about the area of rhombus, a rhombus and kite. And I'll give you several kind of more advanced type problems for this. So what's pictured here is a rhombus. A lot of times you see that as a diamond shape. And the thing about a rhombus is all the sides are the same length. So maybe all of these are 12 inches all the way around. And as it is, we wouldn't have enough information here to find the area of this. So we'd need one more piece of information. And so typically what they might give you is an angle, or in, our, in this first case, I'll just give you the length of one of the diagonals. So let's say they gave you a diagonal. See, all those were 12. Maybe this is 8 inches. And it'd say, find the area of this thing. Well... Immediately when I drew in that diagonal, you can see it's split it into two triangles. So, you know, hit pause and see if you can figure this out. What is the area of this rhombus? Well, the thing about a rhombus is it splits it up into four. If you draw in your two diagonals, it splits it up into four right triangles that are all equal. So, this length here is now 4 and we don't know this length. Well anytime you have a right triangle where you're given two sides you use Pythagorean Theorem. So 4 squared plus h squared equals 12 squared. So 16 plus h squared equals 144. I'm not sure why I put it to the fourth power there. That should be squared. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, Maybe too late at night for this video. But anyway, 4 squared plus 8 squared equals 12 squared. So 4 squared is 16. 12 squared is 144. Then you'd subtract the 16 from both sides. And 8 squared equals 128. Then you would, if we want uh, that particular height, you'd take the square root then. Uh, square root of 128, we can break that down into 4 and 32. 4 times 32 is 128. You could break 32 down into 4 and 8. Um, you could break 8 down into 4 and 2. And four, all these 4s into 2s. 4 breaks into 2 and 2. I'm doing a factor tree. And so there's a pair, there's a pair, there's a pair. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 with a root 2 left over. So the height of this thing is 8 root 2. Now it's also, you could have just found the square root of 128, which, you know, it's uh, 121 is, square root of 121 is 11, so this is slightly more than 11 and less than 12, obviously. But if you're doing a college entrance exam, they want the exact value, they want this 8 root 2. So there's lots of ways to figure this out now. You could find the area of each of the four triangles. So you could take 4 times 8 root 2, which is base times height, and then divide that by 2. But then you that would give you the area of one of these. Then you'd have to take that times 4 because there's four of those triangles. So if you went ahead and finished that, um, 8 times 4 you know, divided by 2, that's uh, eight. That's 16 root 2, but it's still times 4. So each triangle, each of the right triangles is 16 root 2, but you still have to take that times 4, which gives you um, an answer of 64 root uh, 2, because 16 times 4 is 64. So that's the area of this particular uh rhombus and that's inches squared. So that's one type of these problems. You could also um, have a kite and I don't have a nice picture of a kite but in mathematics a kite means you have adjacent sides that are congruent um, but just two sets and so there's what it looks like. You know this might be 
12 and this might be 12 so that makes this maybe 20 and this 20 so those are the adjacent sides that are congruent uh, kind of generally what you think of as a kite shape when I was a kid I was flew bat kites so it wouldn't look the same I would have always thought of a bat instead of instead of this when I hear so seeing the word kite but in mathematics this is the shape of a kite generally now again there's not really enough information to solve this thing without one more piece and so usually you have a diagonal and again what you end up with is two right triangles on the top that are equal uh, two right triangles on the bottom that are equal and so uh, they might give you one whole length of a side here this whole diagonal maybe that's uh, we'll go with eight again and so pause the video and see if you can find the area of that thing so give it a shot now I know so that this one now is four and this is four because we split that exactly in half um, they're perpendicular bisectors of each other those two black diagonals and we want to know this height here and this height here which I'll call Y just so it's a different variable so and we have right triangles everywhere so you can do Pythagorean theorem so 4 squared plus H squared equals 12 squared that gives you the height of the top one the bottom one would be 4 squared plus Y squared equals 20 squared and you solve both of those and we already found this H here in the last video we had the similar problem so H is the square root of 128 which is also equal to um, I think it was 16 root 2 uh, let me double check that nope 8 root 2 pardon me I just remembered it wrong. I didn't want to do go through all that work again. <laughs> so that's 8 root 2. And the bottom one, we haven't done that one yet, so we'll go ahead and finish it. 16 plus y squared equals uh, 400. You subtract the 16 off. And so y squared equals, because those cross out, I haven't been really doing that, 400 minus 16 is 384 and so you take the root of that take the root of that and again we have to get that um, we have to get that square root so we can get the exact value so if we break that down we can take this into 4 and then that'd be 96 uh, we can break the 96 down into 4 and 24 uh, we'll keep going down 24 breaks into 4 and 6 and 4 is 2 and 2 6 is 2 and 3 4 is 2 and 2 4 is 2 and 2 so there's a pair there's a pair there's a pair so that'd be 8 root 6 so that's why and H was 8 root 2. So in terms of finding the area of these, you could find the area of this top triangle times the area of this bottom triangle. So the top one would be 8 uh, root 2 times uh, your base, which was 8 divided by 2 and the area of this bottom triangle again 8 root 6 for your height uh, times your base of 8 divided by 2 and so you'd be looking at uh, this top one here 64 root 2 divided by 2 which would be just 8 times 4 which is 32 root 2 
and this bottom one would be 8 times 8 is uh, 64 root 6 or 32 root 6 and then you add those two together so your answer is 32 root 2 plus uh, 32 root 6 granted if you're making kites and you wanted the area to figure out how much material there is in the kite that's not a number you'd probably use that's kind of complex in a way uh, you just estimate it so the thing is that I I didn't get to in both of those cases the area of a kite and the area of a rhombus and I'll pull up another uh, rhombus for you but the the formula and, and nobody it seems like my students can't remember this formula it's always better for them to break it up into triangles but there is a formula so this it will call this d1 for diagonal 1 and this is uh, d2 for diagonal 2 so for both kite and rhombus you just take diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2 and that finds your area every time with a rhombus and a kite again I wouldn't recommend memorizing a whole bunch of formulas because if you know the area of a triangle you've got this but there it is maybe to make things quicker for you so hope this helps and see you next time